Okay, well Miles has generously offered to do a quick little demo video on how to work with your dog just to try to buy you some time in an emergency situation that they would be less likely to go after your birds. You would never want to trust your dog 100% with your birds, never leave them loose or in a situation where they could be harmed by your dogs. This is just in the case of an emergency, you're not home and a bird gets out, whatever it is that you could buy yourself some time. No offense, Miles, so we don't trust you. Okay, so the first thing I always make sure with my dogs is that they have a very strong leave it command. So I give them something very tempting, like this treat, and the command is leave it. And you put it down on the floor, leave it, and as soon as they ignore it, leave it. Good boy, good boy. And they're trained, don't touch that thing on the floor, right? So again, leave it. Good boy. Now over time, I don't want to use a treat every time to get him to go away. Leave it. Good boy. The more he ignores, the more attention he gets. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Okay? So that's the first thing that you want to do is have a very strong leave it. So whatever goes down on this floor, he's not going to touch it. Okay? And the next thing you want to do, now again, I would never do this in one fell swoop. But over a great deal of time, once I'm sure that he's not going to touch anything I put on that floor because he has a nice strong leave it, then what I can do is basically, and the, and the other command I teach him, let me do that first before I bring out a bird. The other thing I do is a look at me command. So when he's not looking at me, I'm waiting for him to not look at me. And I say, look at me. <laughs> trying to get him not look at me so he can look at me. Look at me. Good boy. Look at me. Look at me. Good and you can start with a food treat, but then after that you want to go to, look at me, look at me, good boy. Okay, and then you want to go just to hand, just affection as a reward. And the reason why you want to get to affection as a reward as fast as possible um, is because what if you don't have a treat on you? You want them to listen to you no matter what, whether or not you have food in your pocket. Um, and I think it's more consistent, reliable. This should be about the bond and wanting to please you, not about trying to eat food. So. The next thing that I will do is I will, over time, bring in a bird. Come here, Jack. Here, step up, buddy. There we go. Here's Jack. Hey, Jack. And what I will do over time is, it's hard to do this without the, here, I'm going to tilt. Hold on, everybody. On the wide screen. Here comes Jack. And now I can do the same thing. Leave it. Good boy. Now, it's a little hard on Miles because he's already been trained to leave this bird. So, But if he, even if he goes all the way to the ground over time, leave it. Let me back up so you can see him. Leave it. Good boy. Okay? So that is not something. And then, of course, I'm going to pick up my bird right away. Now, so this is, oops, sorry. This is not something that I would recommend without a lot of time and a lot of practice. Don't just put your bird on the floor with your dog. Um, I want to make that very, very clear. But it is really important to get an emergency base of training so that in the event your bird does hit the ground, that they understand that leave it command. 